Hi, welcome to Lumi. In this video, we will introduce one more application of derivatives, the famous L'Hopital rule. The rule is a tool to find the limits in indeterminate form. So what is the indeterminate form? Let us introduce the indeterminate form before talking about L'Hopital rule. Intuitively, indeterminate form is a limit that involves infinity or zero or both. So you can find the limit using the method that we learned previously. The limit in indeterminate form may or may not exist. So actually, there may be no limit to calculate. There are many types of indeterminate form. Let us introduce them one by one. The first one is the indeterminate form in the type of zero over zero. In general, we have a limit of the form limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches a, where both f of x approaching 0 and g of x approaching 0 as x approaches a. Then this limit may or may not exist, and it is called the indeterminate form of the type 0 over 0. For example, consider the limit of sine of x over x as x approaches 0, which is equal to 1. This limit is in the indeterminate form of 0 over 0, since as x approaches to 0, sine of x approaches to 0 as well. The second type is in the indeterminate form of infinity over infinity. In general, if we have a limit of the form, limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches a, where both f of x is approaching infinity or negative infinity, or g of x approaching infinity or negative infinity, then the limit may or may not exist. And it is called the indeterminate form in the types of infinity over infinity. For instance, limit of x squared minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity. The limit is in the indeterminate form of infinity over infinity, since as x goes to infinity, x squared minus 1 goes to infinity, and 2x squared plus 1 also goes to infinity, making it the form of infinity over infinity. The third type is the indeterminate form of 0 times infinity. In general, if we have a limit in the form of limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches a, where f of x approaches 0, and g of x is approaching infinity or negative infinity as x approaches a, then the limit may or may not exist, and it is called the indeterminate form in the type of 0 multiplied by infinity. For instance, let us consider the limit of x multiplied by pi over 2 minus arctan of x, as x approaches infinity, of course. In this example, as x goes to infinity, then arctan of x goes to pi over 2. Pi over 2 minus pi over 2 will give us 0 as a whole. And as x approaches infinity, that means that infinity multiplied by 0. So as you may see, this is the indeterminate form of 0 multiplied by infinity. Moreover, if g of x is approaching infinity or negative infinity, we can say that 1 over g of x is approaching 0. So the indeterminate form of 0 multiplied by infinity can be written as the indeterminate form of 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity or negative infinity over infinity. If we rewrite the limit as limit of x approaching a of f of x over 1 over g of x. The fourth type is the indeterminate form of infinity minus infinity. In general, if we have a limit of the form limit of f of x minus g of x as x approaches a, where both f of x approaches infinity or negative infinity, or g of x is approaching infinity or negative infinity, then the limit may or may not exist, and it is called the indeterminate form of the type infinity minus infinity. Now, for example, let us consider the limit of square root of x squared minus x minus x as x approaches infinity. As you may see here, Inside the square root, as x approaches infinity, is going to give us infinity. And minus infinity is going to give us the indeterminate form of infinity minus infinity. The fifth type is the indeterminate form of exponential types. In general, if we have a limit of the form 0 to the power of 0, infinity to the power of 0, 
or one to the power of positive or minus infinity, then it is called the indeterminate form of the exponential type. And the limit can be any values depending on the explicit form of the limit. For example, let us consider the limit of one minus x to the power of one over x as x approaches zero from the right side. In this limit, as x approaches zero from the right side, one minus x is approaching one from the left side. And also, one over x is approaching infinity, obviously when you plug in the value zero. So this is the limit of indeterminate form of one to the power of infinity which is one of the cases in the indeterminate form that we talked about previously. To find this type of limit, one method is to take the ln of both sides, and then we should have the first two indeterminate forms. Then we can calculate the actual limit of this function. Until now, we have discussed all the indeterminate forms. How can you calculate their limits? That was the question that is brought up to us. In this section, we're going to talk about the calculations of limits using L'Hopital's rule. Suppose f and g are both differentiable and g prime of x does not equal to zero on an open interval i that contains a except possibly a itself. Suppose that limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to zero and limit of g of x as x approaches a is equal to zero or limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to plus minus infinity, or limit of g of x as x approaches a equals to plus minus infinity, right? Then we can say the limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches a equals to limit of the derivative of f of x over the derivative of g of x as x approaches a. Note that the L'Hopital's rule can only solve the first two types of indeterminate forms. However, other types of indeterminate forms can be transformed into the first two types regardless. Let us go through an example to make us understand this concept a little better. Consider the limit of ln of x over x minus one as x approaches one. This limit is in the indeterminate form of zero over zero. So we can directly apply the L'Hopital's rule in this limit. So first, what we need to do is take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. So I take the derivative of the numerator and I end up with one over x and take the derivative of the denominator and I get one. So limit of x approaching one of one over x over one is just the limit of x approaching one of one over x. So in this case, the answer is going to be one using L'Hopital's rule. Another example asks us to consider the limit of x over ln of x as x approaches infinity. This limit is in the indeterminate form of infinity over infinity, of course. So we can directly apply the L'Hopital's rule by taking the derivative of the numerator and the denominator which in this is, is going to give us one over one over x as the limit of x approaches infinity. So in this case, we'll just have the limit of x as x approaches infinity, which is infinity as a solution. Now let us consider the example x ln of x as x approaches zero from the right side. This limit is in the indeterminate form of zero times infinity. So we can't apply the L'Hopital rule directly. Before that, we need to convert it into the two types that we know L'Hopital rules can be applied to. So here, if I were to write limit of x ln of x as x approaches zero from the right side in the term of limit of ln of x over one over x as x approaches zero from the right side, then I'll have a form an indeterminate form of infinity or negative infinity over infinity. Now we can use and apply the L'Hopital rule. Here, what I can do is take the derivative of the numerator and take the derivative of the denominator. In this case, I'll end up with limit of x approaching zero from the right side of one over x over negative one over x squared. So by simplifying it, I just get limit of 
negative x as x approaches 0 from the right side, which in this case, by direct substitution, I'll get 0 as my solution. Let us go through another example to solidify our understanding of using Lavater's rule. Consider the limit 1 over ln of x minus 1 over x minus 1 as x is approaching 1 from the right side. This limit is in the indeterminate form of infinity minus infinity, as you may see. So we can directly apply the Lapidus rule in this equation. Before that, we need to convert it into the first two types of indeterminate form that can use the Lapidus rule. So in this case, I use the common denominator and combine the two functions, and I end up with limit of x approaching 1 from the right side of x minus 1 minus ln of x over x minus 1 ln of x, which is in the indeterminate form of 0 over 0. So now I'm able to use Lapidus rule to solve for this limit. Now, I can just take the derivative of the numerator and take the derivative of the denominator, and I end up with 1 over 1 plus 1 ln of x, and then I directly substitute the value of 1 into the function, and I end up with 1 over 2 as the solution for the limit asked. Now let us consider the limit of 1 plus sine of 4x to the power of cotangent of x as x approaches 0 from the right side. This limit is in the indeterminate form of an exponential type of 1 to the power of infinity, as you can see here. So we can't directly apply the Lapidus rule in this case. What we need to do is convert it into the first two types of indeterminate forms where Lapidus rule can be applied. In this equation, what I do is first take the ln of both sides. And when I do take the ln of both sides, I will use the logarithmic rules and laws in order for me to bring over the exponent, which is the cotangent of x, over and simplify cotangent of x as 1 over tan of x. So in this case, I will have ln of 1 plus sine 4x over tan of x, which makes it in the indeterminate form of 0 over 0, meaning that now I can use Lapidus rule. So next step, I take the limit of both sides, right? And now where I want to use the Lapidus rule, I take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So when I take the derivative of the numerator, I end up with 4 cos 4 of 4x four over 1 plus sine 4x over secant squared x, which will give me 4 as a solution, which is the right side. But now, if I were to take the limit of 1 plus sine of 4x cotangent of x as x approaches 0 from the right side, is saying that the left side, which is limit of y as x approaches 0 from the right side, is equal to limit of e to the power of ln of y, right? Which in this case, I know what ln of y is, which in this case, I found the limit to be 4. So the solution for the limit of this equation is equal to e to the power of 4. In summary, in today's video, we introduced five types of indeterminate forms and how to use the Lapidus rules to solve them. And the first two types of zero over zero and infinity over infinity can apply Lapidus rule to directly, but the other types need some variations and tricks to convert them into the first two types to use them. That's all for our video today. Thank you guys for watching.